Hey guys, it's Paris. I'm back with another Q&A. So I put on my socials for you guys to text me some questions. So here are the answers. I have three phones and one of them is dedicated just for you guys. So make sure to look at the link below and you guys can text me and keep in contact. Loves it. All right, so let's answer the first question. This is from Brenda. When are you DJing next? The next time I perform will be from here at home at Slivington Manor. I'm really excited. Ray Family has put together a virtual music festival with Minecraft. It's called Blockfest, and I'm super excited. Everyone's going to be avatars. It's a virtual music festival, and you can get your tickets on the link below. The next question is from Sister Katie. Do you miss Curly from The Letting Family on The Simple Life? Yes, I do. I've actually been watching a lot of The Simple Life here at home during quarantine and it just made me miss the entire Letting family and especially Curly. So Curly, if you're watching, I love you and I miss you all. The next question is from Chris Monroe. Hi Paris, my name's Ro and I adore you. My question is, have you ever considered filming another season of your BFF show? I used to be obsessed and always wanted to be on it. Well, hey Ro, I actually am not gonna be doing another season of BFF, but I love you and I'll be your BFF online. Next text is from Joshua Stevens. Is this Paris? I love you, Paris. Are you going to run for president? Yes, it's me. And yes, I am Paris for president. Loves it. The next text is from Matthew West. I already bought and I'm telling everyone I see, I love your stuff. OMG, I'm getting gold rush for my birthday on July 2nd, Queen. I love your men's cologne. Hey Paris, here's my question. When were you thinking of serving us Earthlings another iconic DJ set? Loves ya. As I said, my next DJ set is going to be for Minecraft for the Blockfest, so make sure to tune in and then you can buy tickets in the link below. The next question is from Eric. What has been your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment is my fragrance empire that I built. I'm about to release my 27th fragrance and it's a dream come true. This is from Wayne Rodriguez. If you weren't who you are, who would you be? If I wasn't who I was, um, I would be a veterinarian. I love animals, and that's what I wanted to be when I was a little girl. This one is from Carrie Millar. Hi Paris, when you were growing up, what did you want to be as an adult? Did you always plan on being a boss babe? I love you so much, and you're such an inspiration to me and so many others. Stay amazing. Love, Carrie. Well, thank you, Carrie. Um, when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a veterinarian because I've always loved animals. And then when I moved to New York and became a teenager, I wanted to be a businesswoman and a brand and a model and a designer and do so many things. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm a naturally creative person and I love everything I do. And I feel so blessed to do so many things that I love. This is from Aline Corey. Love you to death. I miss reading your books. I don't know why I got rid of them in the first place. They put a huge smile on my face. You're so nice and honest. Loves it, P. I literally go to bed every night thinking of you. You're my light. Thank you. My question is, do you still enjoy fame like you used to? And do you still like to do magazine covers? Well, if you send me a message with your address, I'll send you another signed book of Confessions of an Heiress. I'm happy you enjoyed it. And yes, I love what I do because I love to make others happy. So it always makes me feel very proud of what I do and what I've accomplished in life. And do I still like to be on magazine covers? Yes, I love photo shoots. I'm actually doing a cover shoot tomorrow and I can't wait. It's always so much fun to get glammed up and try on all the new designs from so many incredible designers. This is from Bo. Hi Paris, if you could be any kind of animal, what would you be? A unicorn, obviously. The next message is from Nick. Will you marry me? Hope you're staying safe. Sorry, Nick, I'm taken. I have a boyfriend, so no. <laughs> the next question's from Lauren. Hi, Paris, my question for you is, what is the hardest part about having so many people look up to you? By the way, I love you so much. You're one of my role models. Thank you, Lauren, that means so much to me and I really appreciate it. I love you too. And there's nothing hard about it. I love you all so much. My little Hiltons are like my little brothers and sisters. And you guys mean the world to me. So thank you. The next message is from Lydia James. Paris, I love you and Paris for president. What are you doing to help the world with your powerful platform and fame? 
I think it's all about spreading love through the whole world, making everybody happy and everyone having equal rights. Love you guys. So the next text is from Gerardo Lopez. Hello, gorgeous. Do you still wear the infamous Von Dutch trucker hats? No, I don't. I used to be obsessed with them, but now I'm just not into them at all. So the next text is from Alexis Gomez. What do you like most about being a DJ? What I love most is just being on stage and performing in front of everybody and seeing the smiles on everyone's faces and everyone jumping and dancing and just the energy is indescribable. It's like being a rock star and one of the most magical feelings in the world and I cannot wait to go back on tour and be out there and perform for you all because I miss it. I love you. The next message is from Rebecca. Hi Paris, my question is, why did you get into DJing and how did you learn? I'm an aspiring female DJ and would love to hear how you began. Sliving. Well, I've always loved music. I've always loved to entertain. I'm obsessed with going to music festivals. And then when I got offered to do this huge concert in Brazil to be closing the show for Jennifer Lopez, it was my first time DJing. And I did it and I loved it. I just fell in love with being on the stage and just the energy and the vibe and just the way it made me feel. And after that, I hired the best people in the business and learned everything there was to know about DJing. And then from there, got my first residency at Amnesia and Ibiza, and then started touring all around the world. So I wanna wish you so much luck. And I think it's just important to go with what you feel and really practice it and do your best and figure out what your favorite music is. And I think that you're gonna do awesome. So sending you lots of love and luck. All right, next we have Andrew. Hey Paris, I love you so much. You're such an amazing and sweet person. Thank you, Andrew. I struggle with motivation. What motivates you to continue building your empire? What motivated you to start? Thank you. I can't wait for This Is Paris. Well, thank you. I can't wait for This Is Paris, too. I know you guys are all going to really enjoy it. It's an incredible film. And what motivates me? I love working hard. Work ethic is something that's been instilled in me since I was a little girl for my family. I love to make my family proud. I love to make beautiful products for my fans. I love to entertain people, bring love and light and happiness and beauty to the world. And I just love being a girl boss. It's lots of fun. This is from Tiffany Berg. What's your favorite dessert? I love you. My favorite dessert is my sliving banana bread. I just made banana bread for the first time during quarantine, and it was so much fun to make it homemade and tastes so delicious and I do my own little pH twist to it, so it's like no other banana bread, it's epic. Next, from Josh. Dearest Paris, our Lord and Savior. Thanks. Did you know that you would be able to stop the coronavirus in its tracks if you starred in another reality TV show? Your presence is so powerful, the virus would have no choice but to leave. You know, I really wish that was true because this virus is so scary and so horrible and terrible and I wish I had that power to do that so if I did I would definitely do it but on a serious note I'm just sending everyone so much love at home and I think it's so important that everyone stays in this together wear a mask wash your hands social distance and we're gonna have this go away and sending everyone love and prayers and just hoping this will all go away soon and we can get back to normal well, that was a lot of fun. I love getting texts from you guys. The number is below to text me. Let's stay in contact. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.